In terms of the main stage interface, the first thing I want to describe is this right here. This is the patch list. There's an authority structure here. This concert is the big monkey. In other words, I can have parameters in this concert that override everything below it. So I have concert and these blue folders represent sets. These are sets. Within the sets are patches, okay? So I can close the arrows on those sets just like this. Okay, so watch this. In the concert, I go over to my channel strip settings and I see what? I see a reverb, a delay, an output, and a master. What this means, since it's at the big ape level, it means that every other set or patch or anything else is going to have all that same stuff within it. If I go down here to this synth patch, I see three new colored channel strips, and then I see the same reverb delay output and master. So that's the patch list. Now I can do this advanced gear menu, and it gives me a whole set of more advanced opportunities. I have an advanced gear here. I have an advanced gear here, just like that. So there's three advanced gears. All right, so what am I looking at here anyway? I have a patch list, an inspector, a channel strip area, and I have my workspace. Think of the workspace as the outside of the car. It's got all the shiny paint. It's got the great looking trim. It's got all that stuff. And then this is the engine, transmission, you know, powertrain, etc. So the guts of the whole program are these gray areas. Now, I also have modes. Main stage defaults into edit mode because this is where we'll spend 90% of our time. There's three other modes. Layout mode is if I want to design instruments of my own, I can just drag in new parameters. I can create uh, entire new things. I can move stuff. The perform mode is just a, a very clean, tight version of my main stage interface. I can hide my toolbar like this. Okay, and then the final mode is not going to give us much love. It's full screen, and I'm working on a 30 inch, so it's just going to go obese. Okay, so that's full screen mode. To get out of it, I'm just going to click the X here and go back. Okay, four modes, layout, edit, perform, and full screen. So the other things that we need to look at are the inspectors. So I've gone over the patch list, and... I can see when I select something, I have an inspector. Inspector over a concert. This is giving me concert-wide parameters. I can set a parameter here that will affect everything underneath it. Uh, tuning, for instance, or time signature, or tempo. Okay. Same for sets. I have an inspector. I can set tempo and time signature for for different sets, as well as tuning. At the patch level, I have a inspector as well. I've got my tuning, I've got my attributes, which are icons, program change numbers, time signatures, and it's all referring to, resize that guy, and it's all referring to this Steinway right here, okay? So I go back to my inspector, I'm on attributes and I go to the patch library and this is where I come up with my sounds. Right now it's under keyboards, acoustic, piano, grand piano, okay? This all feeds into the channel strip inspector and there's some important stuff in here and we're gonna look at that next. The rest of this is hideable. I can hide this inspector and the way I do that is with a key command. It's Apple 5, and you get that. Apple 5 again, it comes undone. Apple 6 hides the channel strips. Apple 5, channel strips hidden and an inspector. Apple 6, channel strips. Apple 5, inspector. Okay, so to review, four modes. Sitting in your garage, building an instrument, um, practicing your instrument, uh, performing your instrument with your band, and playing in... Madison Square Garden.
okay? Layout, edit, perform, and full screen. I have a toolbar that's hideable and customizable. I have a patch list. I have the big ape, which is the concert. I have sets and I have patches. In here is my workspace. This is the paint and the chrome and the outside of the car. I have my inspectors, which can be hidden from Apple 5. And it shows me how to change all the attributes of each of the things that are selected in the patch list. I have my channel strips. This is the engine of main stage, and we're gonna look at that next. Lastly, I have my advanced gears, and I have three of those right here. The only other thing we need to cover is this guy here. I can resize. I can zoom up immediately. I have bars that go back and forth as such. And I can zoom back down with that function there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna take a look at are the channel strips, the very engine of main stage.